Now to a case that could have a dramatic impact on women's reproductive rights in this state. The Florida Supreme Court hearing arguments today in a constitutional challenge to the 2022 state law that prevents abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy. If the court upholds that law, it will then trigger this year's new state law, barring most abortions after six weeks of pregnancy. When many women don't yet know they are pregnant. Steve King is here with more on today's hearing. Steve. Todd, much of today's arguments focused on whether justices should overturn decades of legal precedent that said a privacy clause in the state constitution protects abortion rights. Now, the ruling could take months, and whatever it is, it could also affect a law passed this year that would ban most abortions after six weeks of pregnancy. The state Supreme Court hearing lasted about an hour, with the plaintiffs, including seven right, abortion clinics and a doctor who performs abortions, being represented by the American Civil Liberties Union. The state is asking this court not only to allow these harms to continue, but to in fact hold that there is no protection for abortion under the Florida Constitution whatsoever. Next, the state addressed the justices. You, there is no indication that the particularly technical sense of privacy that Roe used to derive an abortion right <coughs> was adopted by the people. Last year, the governor signed the 15-week abortion restriction into law just months before a U.S. Supreme Court ruling overturning Roe v. Wade. That ruling allowed states to once again decide on abortion laws. Today, state lawmakers on both sides of the aisle reacting to the new hearing. I think the legislature of the past several years have wanted to give the governor a position to run for higher office and put women in harm's way because of that. That is a dangerous thing, and women have suffered. A Republican State Representative Rick Roth in Palm Beach County voted against the six-week ban but supports the 15-week ban. I think it's a good thing that we move in a direction towards trying to protect human life. It's a really tough decision, and I believe it's a spiritual decision. So I think uh, I don't like government being too obtrusive. So having a reasonable amount of time going from uh, viability of 21 weeks, 24 weeks to 15 is, is a reasonable step. If the state Supreme Court upholds the 15-week law, the decision would allow the new law signed this year restricting abortions after six weeks of pregnancy to take effect. Now that law would then go into effect 30 days later. Steve King, WPBF 25 News.